welcome to this week's video. I'm just kidding. I'm going to do more than one video a week. But I might be a little bit slower this week because I'm still waiting on my fancy lighting to get here. I know that a lot of you are excited to see me try on some foundations and such and lighting where you can actually tell if it matches my neck. But today I am going to be reviewing a device so that way you don't have any like color differentiation issues. Um, please excuse my crazy hair. I worked last night. I am a night shift NICU nurse, so if any of you have a baby, do you know that at least once a night you're going to get covered in pee, poop, vomit, or booby juice? Oh my god, I've got some stories about that. But right now, we are going to get into our review. I am going to be reviewing the Color Me Applicator. Ooh. So this is available only at Ulta or on the Color Me website, which I will put the link below in the description section. Alright, let's get started. I am trying to beat the lawn guys outside because they are really loud when they get close. So let's get going. Alright, so when you open the box, I already took mine out so it's empty. It's empty, sorry. It comes with the applicator device, the sponge for the fluid foundation, and the sponge for the powder foundation. Uh, also, amazingly enough, it comes with a battery. So you just have to pull this little pull tab. I already did it. You have to pull this pull tab, and it'll it'll start working immediately. Good to go, like a crunch wrap supreme. I love it. So, I'm not sure how well you can see this. Oh. This is the foundation brush. So this is for your creams and your liquid foundations. See if you can get the texture in there. You know those like little triangle sponges? that they sell at like CVS and stuff to put on your makeup that's what this is essentially uh, and it just pops off when you want to switch it and you stick on the powder brush so I'm gonna hold that one up it's fluffier and it's it just reminds me of one of those poofy things that come in with your with your you know powder that kinda of sucks so we're gonna see if this is any good this is my hip or hype video. Huh, you see what I did there? Do you see? Yeah, I know you did. You guys are smart because you're watching me. I'm going to start off with the liquid foundation. And I am just going to put that all over my face and then I'm going to cover it with powder for a more polished look. So I'm going to use both of the sponges and we're going to see how it does. So when you start off your first use and every time you get a new sponge, which the company recommends you get a new sponge for every like seven uses which is insane I wear makeup every day haha <laughs> key thing like right below that they write that if you want your brushes to maybe last longer you can take some alcohol and rub it off but you're not to clean them or soak them in water or anything but if you have some alcohol rubbing around you can just wipe it down and they say that can help it last up to 30 days which is pretty exciting cause these brushes are either $9 for a pack of two at Ulta or on their website, or on the Color Me website you can get uh, eight brushes. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm not, not even brushes. They're not brushes, they're sponges. You can get eight sponges for about $24 with free shipping. So if this is a device that you are going to um, end up buying, I would suggest going on the Color Me website instead of Ulta for your brushes because it'll save you a lot of money in the long run. So, the first time you use this, you have to put like a pump of your foundation onto the sponge and smear it around to season the sponge. Ooh, that wasn't enough. So apparently, just like any other makeup sponge, if you don't do this, then it's just gonna suck up all the makeup that you want to put on your face and nobody wants that nobody wants that and just because I know you guys are just dying to know I am using a foundation that I know is of the best quality I have yet to find one equal to it but I haven't reviewed that many uh, it is the MAC Match Master foundation in one uh, it's backwards because it's on camera in 1.5 just take it's 1.5 so I love it. The next one I'm going to try for MAC is going to be their Pro Long Wear because of my combo skin, but this is a pretty good job. So once you have this nice and seasoned, 
you're supposed to put a hole pump on here, and you're supposed to, they say to like, dab it in all of the areas on your, on your face. Oh, there we go. Just, oh, just slap me with that. Okay, so once you have it on, you turn it on. <laughs> Sounds inappropriate. <laughs> Who is it? Can you hear this? I don't know how good my I don't know how good my microphone is, but it's vibrating very quickly. The idea of this brush is it's just vibrating at such a quick pace. It's supposed to be like you patting on your makeup, kind of like with a beauty blender. So let's start. You just it feels nice. Oh. Okay, so you're just supposed to lightly press on your face when you're applying this. I'm going to get a little bit closer. I feel like I'm probably going to need more foundation because this isn't really covering everything. Like It doesn't seem to really spread it all that well and I don't think I'm pressing too hard. I'm like barely touching my face. It's going smoothly. I feel like it's making you know, a difference in in my face. Like, I think it's covering up my flaws fairly well. Then again, I don't have a mirror. All I have is my iPad camera right now. <laughs> um, like I said, I worked night shift, so I looked like death. So all I put on was a little bit of eye makeup and this Revlon lip stain. If you like what's on my lips and on my eyes, let me know and I will comment back. So just comment below and I will respond with a list of everything I am wearing from the foundation I am applying to these shades on my eyes and on my lips. But as this is just a device review, I wasn't sure if you guys would even care. All right. So that is just one pump of my foundation. I'm going to put another pump on to get my neck and my problem areas down here. But I think that it really spread out my vac my vacation. <laughs> what? Obviously, I need a vacation. I think it really spread out my mess. Er <laughs> I need to go back to bed. And the lawn people are getting closer. All right. I think it really spread out my foundation well. Just as if I had used my beauty blender... Uh, it got into the little crevices. Okay, I'm going to go back over that part, though, with a little bit more foundation. Oh, my God, the lawn guys are getting so close. All right, let's move. Let's, we got to move. It really presses in to these tiny areas. No, lawn people, go away. Okay, so the long guys have gotten a little bit farther away now, so you can probably hear me. I know you wanted to hear me, right? <laughs> Obviously. I love the sound of my own voice. I'm sure you do, too. So, all I did when I was off camera was... Um, that's a red mark. That's not like a clump of foundation, just so you know. So, all I did when I turned off the camera was just put a little bit on my neck. And it looks pretty even. I mean, it's a nice light... A nice light application to my neck so I don't look funny but I think this is a pretty good match for me okay so this is with two pumps of my Mac matchmaster foundation which depending on Ooh, there's a spider <laughs> okay sorry sorry okay <sighs> that was terrifying so depending on how many blemishes I have I use anywhere between two to four pumps of my MAC foundation because I like some full coverage but I think this is pretty decent alright I don't know what you think you can let me know down below so moving on we are gonna try the powder sponge the fluffier sponge of the two with my MAC Studio Fix powder which I love I love it sometimes all I do is I put on some concealer and this powder and some blush and some mascara and I'm good to go. It's amazing. So, this is Studio Fix in color NW18. Now, this is a little bit light for me right now. 
sorry. <laughs> I mean, it's like, it's not cheap. I'm gonna get some darker soon when I have a day off and I'm not going anywhere out of town. <laughs> I'm just gonna, oh, that's nice. Put a little bit of this powder on the sponge, tap off any excess, and then turn it on. And I'm just gonna do one half of my face with the powder and leave another half blank so you can see the difference that this thing makes. And I'm gonna start off on, on my forehead, why not? Oh, 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 snapola! Oh, wow. So, that, that is impressive. This is like, I'm gonna blend this a little bit. Wow, this really gives you a lot of coverage with, with powder. I'm gonna try to only do half of my nose. I don't know how that's gonna go. Wow, I see like, mega difference. I know it's making me paler. I'm sorry, okay? It's the best I can do. All right, wow. Okay, so I know you can't feel, like, feel how my face is feeling right now. Wouldn't that be awesome if we were, like, that connected right now? But no, you can't. So I'm going to let you know, this thing is soft, and it feels really nice on my face. So, minus it making me look like a ghost, I love how it works with powder. I just want to, like, go to sleep right now, <laughs> which I wanted to do anyway, because I went to bed at 9.30, and I woke up. At 1 30 that's that's not a lot and that's a.m. to, to 1 30 p.m. so <sighs> okay I'm gonna get closer so this is just the liquid foundation with a liquid brush and this is after using the powder brush with my Mac Studio fix and it's really I ain't uh, trying to get in there okay it's not hard Okay, it's really nice. It definitely gave me a lot of coverage um, for a powder. So, if you use, like, bare minerals or something, because a lot of people, I have my nose itches, because uh, I know a lot of people love bare minerals. I never did. But if you use it with this, you'd probably look flawless. Like, you would look so good, because this is a pressed powder. I, I personally think that loose powders really give you that kind of airbrushed look. I don't know if I'm crazy, but that's just how I feel. But, I mean, I feel like it looks really good. It felt really nice going on. I don't feel like there's a ton of product on my face, you know, when you have, like, layers and layers, and it's... Ugh. No, I don't feel like that at all. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and do the other half of my face, and you can tell me if you think that this gave me, like, kind of a flawless finished look. And... It, I mean, this has not taken long. Like, it's taken longer because I've been talking. Because, I mean, I talk a lot. But, <laughs> but, you know, if you are doing this at home, this takes so, like, this takes a lot less time than when I, you know, apply my foundation with my beauty blender because you're tapping and tapping and tapping and, you know, tapping and tapping and tapping and tapping until you have this, like, fabulous look. But... This is this could probably take five minutes or less, which is pretty freaking fabulous. All right, let's let's bring it down to the neck a little bit. Oh, just ignore just ignore those sounds. This is really nice though. It's really soft. So I really like this Color Me applicator now. It is a little bit over $50. I want to say $54 at Ulta or on the Color Me website. So it really depends on if you want to make the initial investment for the brush. And then if you get eight sponges, you can get half powder and half liquid foundation brushes. Or you can get, if you only wear powder, you only wear liquid, you can get eight only of those for I think $24 with free shipping if you use the whole alcohol swabby trick like the website states you can do it'll last you eight months which is a long time so it'd probably be an investment of you know $50 initially and then $50 a year for the number of sponges that you would need which really I don't know beauty blenders are like $27 and brushes OMG I really want some special brushes right now, but 
I can't afford them. There's like this $70 foundation brush that is really nice, but who knows if it would give me, you know, much better coverage than this. I don't know, because I can't afford it. One day, one day, I'm going to test them out for you. I'm going to get close again and let you see how this does. I'm going to get a better camera when I get my lighting, like my lighting is ordered. There was an open box camera, like HD camcorder at Best Buy for a little over $100. So I'm going to go and get that. And once I get my lighting, I'm going to... I'm going to start using that, and who knows what I look like on HD. I probably look totally different. So, let me know if you are interested in trying this product, if you thought that it gave me a full, flawless face, and also, just comment below to say hi, or any questions that you have for me. You are watching Beauty Obsessed RN, my YouTube channel, and you can follow me on Facebook. I don't have Twitter. I can't talk in like 70 characters or less or whatever it is. That would never happen. All right. I will see you guys next time. Don't forget to subscribe, thumbs up this video, and comment below. Bye.